Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you a project which I am not sure if it adds any value or not. So I will be seeking your guidance in the comments to see whether this project is of any value or not. So let me first try to explain what this project is in my own words and then I will also drop the link to its page in video description you can also read through and then let me know if my findings are right or not or if I just got it totally wrong or if I am um, justified in believing that this project might not be even necessary. So let's first see what this project is. So this project which is called as Open Researcher um, deals with something to do with research oriented questions. We all know that the annual growth of 4 to 5 percent in global scientific publications necessitates researchers to dedicate significant time and effort to thoroughly review numerous academic papers. Or in other words, if you are in academia or if you are doing any sort of scientific research, you tend to spend a lot of time in finding researching this uh, sort of papers which you can see on your screen. And also this involves daily engagement with a wide range of literature to stay updated essential for maintaining relevance and innovation that is a given. Now recognizing these challenges, considerable academic efforts have focused on AI assisted scientific research. And if you classify these questions into three areas, it involves scientific question answering, which means that seeking detailed information or clarification within a specific domain. Secondly, scientific text summarization, where you condense latest findings and development into comprehensive overviews. And thirdly, scientific paper recommendation, where you could use AI to get suggestions around relevant literature and studies based on research interest or areas. According to this paper, there are limitations around current solutions to do this scientific research. And according to them, academic applications typically focus on a single task, lacking a unified solution. Industry applications like perplexity AI and search GPT enable users to inquire about anything but their proprietary hindering development and academic research. Well, we have mind search, we have now various other tools which I already have covered on the channel which are open source, which are free. You can use them with local LLMs to do what perplexity or search GPT are doing. Okay. Now, Open Researcher is an open source project harnessing AI to accelerate scientific research and what it allows you to do, it addresses diverse researcher questions. Uh, they say that it rivals industry application performance like perplexity. It engages in active communication guiding user to clarify queries. Every LLM worth its salt can do it. And then it also do retrieval augmented, which means RAG, where you can just put in your own data, own paper, domain specified, and then it will um, do the ragging with it. Well, you can do it with any LLM out there. And then it has also got a flexible tool usage where you can use function calling. And then, of course, there are, uh, as I said, that mind uh, search and lot of other applications are uh, easily can do it. And if you can do the ragging or function calling, you can use any LLM application or AI powered application, which and I think we already have discussed dozens and dozens of them on the channel. Now, if you look at this diagram, this tells you a bit more of a story around Open Researcher, which is an active AI assistant to accelerate the research process catering to a broad spectrum of inquiries from researchers and it employs retrieval augmented generation to enhance LLMs with the latest verified and domain specific knowledge. It interacts with users to clarify their queries. Also, they have developed various tools for open researcher to understand researcher queries, search from the scientific literature, filter retrieved information, provide accurate and comprehensive answers and refine these answers. Open researchers can, a researcher can use these tools flexibly to build a pipeline that delivers accurate and comprehensive answer, outperforming those from industry applications um, such as perplexity. But the thing is that what basically it is doing, they have put in a lot of archive paper maybe, 
and then you can i believe provide your own it just grounds it converts it into a numerical representation store is locally in quadrant vector store and from there you can do the rag so this is basically just a simple rag application that's about it now if you go through its paper in more detail for example this is a simple chat uh, bot where you're asking it a question it is llm is generating the answer and then you are asking it more it is giving you more answers and also giving you the references uh, we can count on our you know fingers and more how many tools can already do that so i'm not sure where um, this brings in extra value still now if you go through its installation steps it looks quite cumbersome so until here looks fine okay you just git clone the repo you install requirements all good now this is where the things get start uh, quite interesting where you have to pull uh, a docker container with quadrant then you have to start it separately okay you can do this too but from here then you have to use api so you are still using either deep seeks api or you can use open ai i guess yeah so open ai deep seek and Eliun, which uh, if i have to use these why can't i simply go to directly to open ai and use gpt4 o just upload my files and just talk with it or maybe i'll go to gemini or i'll, I'll go to anthropic cloud I, i'll go to uh, grok or there are heaps of other options i could do uh, easily why would i have to you know go through all this effort to get this thing installed and then do this so i don't see any point here um, and by far i think gpt4 o or Gemini 1.5 Pro, they can do a far more better job in answering my research question if I do my prompting right. Even if I don't, uh, if I'm just average on my prompting, I think I should, if I want to research about a scientific topic, these <clears throat> top LLMs, Lama 405 billion, they can do easily whatever I want. Now, the good thing is that it supports it via LLM. You can use a lot of uh, open source models with it, but you see the configuration of it is quite hard i mean you see you have to uh, use this you have to put your configuration here and this is where the fun gets more complicated where you have to give the bing search key so and that you it's not a free thing you would have to pay for it and it is using the from microsoft uh, search so there is no built-in search or anything like that where you could use any open source like DuckDuckGo or anything and use that one because it only support Bing search at the moment where you which you have to put here now the story doesn't end here if you want to do a rag you would have to download the data like paper by yourself right you would have to set up it like this in the data folder you have to set up your config files and then you have to parse the data something like this and then you have to use the rag application something like this you would also have to run the elastic search after quadrant and then you have to run the stream date application so a lot of work uh, which can be done easily by a lot of other applications for free for local with far more fewer steps and we have seen it with various applications and i just mentioned mind search and there are few others like 30 40 which i already have covered on the channel so all in all, I'm not trying trying to throw the project under the bus, but I think um, there should be some, you know, uh, how should I put it politely? That there should be some, you know, guardrails here that uh, archive should put in because this paper is available on archive, and uh, it is there. And look how many universities and laboratories have coordinated to get this project. Um, out in the wild so that's it guys let me know what do you think um very very keen to hear your thoughts these are just my personal opinion on the basis of the information which i have shared with you it's all open um i have been wrong before i will be wrong again i might be wrong here so please correct me very keen to learn share your thoughts in the comments if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are one of the researchers or associated with this and if i got it all wrong please correct me in the comments very very happy to 
stand corrected uh, also happy to do a fireside chat on this project that's it um please share it among your network and let me know what you think thanks for watching